First and foremost, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. As you see here on your screen, at the top it says, A Christian church is trending online after they have announced that they're selling plots of land in heaven for $100 per square meter. According to the church's Facebook post, the pastor says he spoke to God in 2017 and he was granted permission to do this. They have already collected thousands of dollars from many people. All right. And at the bottom, as you see, they accept Visa, Master, uh, American Express, MasterCard, um, Google Pay, and Apple Pay. So there you have it. Christian church selling plots of land in heaven for $100 a square meter. Okay. Pastor said he, he spoke to God about it. All right. So this is what they're doing in the, the churches. Okay. This is a first Timothy six and five. All right. And it says, We'll start at three. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even to the word, even to the words of our Lord Yahushua Hamashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings. Okay, so such pastors are proud; they know nothing. Okay, they dote about questions, uh, uh, strifes, and words. Okay, where it come with envy, strife, railings, and evil surmisings. There's nothing good in the churches. There never was. There's a lot of wickedness. These pastors are not given the counsel of the Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, the Hebrew God of Israel. But they're on the Jesus juice. Okay? And although it may sound nice and family family uh, friendly, you know, it's it's really evil. It's really perverse and wicked. Perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, destitute of the, tr of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. And that's, that's, that's the point from such withdrawal thyself. That's why you get out these churches, because they suppose that gain is godliness. You got a lot of Christians that think that gain is godliness. All right. What does it say down here? Strong definitely Money getting. Yeah, you get money, that's godly. That's not true. Okay. This is a uh, first Timothy and we'll start at one. If this is a true saying, if a man desired the office of a bishop, he desired a good work. Okay. Jumping down to third verse, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Okay. And pastor is, is the same as a bishop, but you're not to be covetous. What does it say here? Not loving money, not avaricious. Yeah, they're greedy. They're greedy for your money. Okay? Greedy of filthy lucre. It says eager of for base gain, greedy for money. And, you know, you see televangelists like, um, you know, TD Snakes and Creep Flow Dollar. All right? You know, uh, always talking about you know, uh, prosperity, you know, the prosperity doctrine. And, and a lot of people are bamboozled by it. A lot of people are under a spell, okay, under those guys. You know, you got this guy, um, Kenneth Copeland, and he's a demon. He's a straight demon, okay? They, but they'll, they'll, they'll teach you that, you know, you, you, you have to, uh, you know, g get money, for the Heavenly Father to be with you and you have to give money to, to receive blessings and that's far from the truth, okay? And you're not to be given to wine, okay? If you want to be a, a, a bishop, you know, you know, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, right? You're not supposed to be greedy of filthy lucre. It says, NLT, he must not be a heavy drinker or be violent. He must be gentle, not quarrelsome, and not love money. And that's what they do here in these churches, man. They love money. $100 a square meter? That's, that's a little bit. That's not a lot. 
hundred dollars a square meter is 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 a little bit, man. That's a little bit of uh, you know, for a hundred bucks. It's not a lot of land, but here they are. They're selling plots of land. Okay. And you know, pe people actually, uh, you know, buy stuff like this. You know, they 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 actually believe they're pastors. You know. But, you know, that's why uh, you have to read the scriptures. Scripture don't speak about none of this. Let's get this Second Peter 2 and 3. Well, we'll start at 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And there's false prophets out there. Okay, there's a lot of false prophets out there, you know. The churches are all false, every single last one of them. Okay, and they bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. So there's going to be a swift destruction, okay, because they cause, you know, divisions, you know, that are, that are, that are not in the doctrine and have people, um, you know, separated from the true power of Israel into their beliefs, but that's only going to bring themselves swift destruction. Three, and, there, and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. So it says here in the NLT, in their greed, they will make up clever lies to get hold of your money, but the Most High condemned them long ago, and their destruction will not be delayed. Okay. So whoever believes that these uh, guys have uh, the, the authority to sell plots of land is, 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 is totally bugged out. You're out the way. Okay. They make up clever lies to get your money. And that's, that's not of uh, the truth. And as a matter of fact, they had a guy that just got casted out. All right. That was, um, you know, being a grifter. You know, asking for money and with no intent to pay it back, okay, among other things. So, you know, you have this in the ministry. You have this, you know, among those that um, believe in the Most High and His Son, okay? You're going to have people that use the word of the Most High to, to, you know, for filthy lucre to get money, you know? It tells you there shall be um, false prophets among the people. You know, because they're covetous, they, you know, they'll try to make merchandise out of you, you know. Let's get this word covetous. Strong's G, 4124, play anoxia. Right. Play anoxia. Greedy desire to have more, covetous, avarice, right. They want to have more than what they have, so what do they do? They take from you. They take from those that, that uh, they don't know the word of the Most High, who, who believe that, you know, in prosperity doctrine, who believe that, uh, you know, you have to have good things that the heaven, so the Heavenly Father could be with you. If not, if you're poor, you know, basically the Heavenly Father, uh, you know, he's not dealing with you. That's far from the truth. But yeah, they make merchandise of the people. Right here at the bottom. To use a person or a thing for gain. Yeah. They use people for, for, for things or for gain. So, you know, we're here to warn you, you know, the, the scriptures are not, okay, to be used to, to take money from people. Okay? Do, do you pay tithes to the apostles? Yeah, that's part of the, the truth. But, you know, you just don't go around, you know, giving money to these false, you know, prophets, these false teachers. And there's many, even in Israel. This is 1 Peter 5 and 2. Okay. Feed the flock of the Most High which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Okay. Not for filthy lucre. NLT, care for the flock of the, that the Most High has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve the Most High. You see? And a lot of... You know, people, you know, use the scriptures to 
see what they can get out of the congregation. You know, they're not eager to serve the most high. They're, they're serving their own belly. They're trying to get rich. It's a hustle. They're hirelings. They care not for the flock. Okay, so we just want to warn you, okay, if you see individuals like that, you know, in this thing of ours, then, you know, you know, you know, don't, don't, don't be just giving, uh, you know, people your money without, you know, really vetting them, you know, and that's something that is um, done out of charity, it's done out of, because you're trying to help someone, you know, you, you don't do it to, uh, you know, you don't ask your congregation, you don't ask people for money just because, you know, you, you, you want to have more. You know, and, 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 and truth be told, you know, sometimes things are a gift, but sometimes you got to pay things back. You know what I mean? Even if you got to get on a payment plan, however long it takes, man, pay it back. So I just wanted to bring this out, <clears throat> you know. Christian church is selling plots of land in heaven for $100 a square meter. And I looked it up and I, I don't want to give you no false information, but square meter ain't that much, man. You know, a square meters, you know, it's not a lot. Okay, let's get a couple more. Let's get, the, excuse me. Matthew 19 and 27, it says, The disciples reward. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all, and had followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So the disciples, they forsook all. They, they, weren't, they weren't a filthy looker. They weren't trying to be greedy and get uh, gain from others. That's, that's, not the, that's not the reward you're looking for. You're looking for the reward in the kingdom. All right? On this side, we have no, no certain dwelling place. Okay? And even the scriptures even say, the Son of Man have not where to lay his head. So, you know, you see a guy, you know, uh, asking for money like, you know, extravagant amounts, then hey, you got to be, be careful about such individuals. All right? And, you know, for those that watch these videos, you know, you haven't fully come into the truth or you're, you're, you're hearing about the Israelite thing, you know, stay away from these, 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 church, these Christian churches. Stay away from church, period. Stay away from religion. Stay away from pastors asking you for money, man. Get your head out of your butt, okay? There's nothing in the truth. There's, there's in the church, excuse me, there's nothing in the church, man. Nothing but lies and confusion, okay? All you're doing is, 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 is building up, you know, uh, worldly worldly churches all right scriptures say when two or three are gathered in my name i in the midst thereof you know you're not the year the temple of the most high okay you know when you congregate okay you're an israelite you know and you're speaking on the truth and, and, and you how about shimei on shai that's church you know when you go out to the highways and hedges and call out we're we're you know that's conducting church not not in the scriptures say the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands and the church is a temple made with hands. Okay. Let me, get a, let me go back to Matthew 19, 28. And Yahushai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. So those that follow Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, when he returns, okay, those that are prophets that are in their lot, that are in their lot as a prophet in the in the in the end of days. They're going to sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. And it continues. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or fathers or mother or, or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive an hundred fold and shall inherit everlasting life. You see? So, you know, you, 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 you truly forsake everything. You know, you, you, your mind is on your how about Shimei Shai and not on this world. Okay. You know, you're, you're, you're all about the namesake of the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai. You shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are first shall be last and the last shall be first. Okay? So, where are you going to receive your, your lands? You're going to receive it by forsaking everything, not by trying to gain everything on this side. Okay? You get an everlasting life by, by, by losing your life, not by trying to save it. Okay, and that's the difference between the churches and, 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 and being a true disciple. It says here, the, the, the disciples reward. Now, we're not looking to make it in this, king, uh, in this uh, side, but in the, next, in the next side, in the kingdom, that's when we're going to get, okay, everything, okay? Because right now, we're in a time of forsaking this world, okay? So, 
or what in your edify just a little something you know um it says here at the bottom they have already collected thousands of dollars from many people you know there's a lot of you know gullible people just gotta say it like how it is i mean you know how are you gonna really pay somebody hundred dollars a square meter okay in heaven you know for a plot of land in heaven quote unquote so we gotta uh you know report on such things lord willing you were edified shalom